Am I visible now? Yeah. This is Prasoon Patnaik and you are watching the complete study material guide video series for NEET, J Main and Advanced, KBPY, Olympiads and much more. This particular video that is the part 1 of this series is dedicated to NEET aspirants. In this video series we will dive into coaching modules for NEET, J, KPY, Olympiads etc. And under these sections we will further discuss the difference between DLP and classroom modules. We will delve into the level of theory and questions discussed in each module. Next we will discuss the online mock tests available for various exams and I will be giving you a lot of in-depth knowledge about these modules that even the classroom students of these coaching institutes may not know. Alain, Akas, Fidji, Resonance, Bansal and some other coaching institute modules have been covered here. After elaborating and comparing each of them separately with others in the same bracket, I will be rating them based on their utility value for the exams they have been made for. From zero representing absolute garbage to plus 10 meaning absolute bonkers. Okay. Throughout my preparation, I had taken admission into classroom programs of many institutes like Allen Kota, Allen Bhubaneswa, Akas Bhubaneswa, Fidji Bhubaneswa and have tried the DLP and classroom modules of Allen, Akas, Resonance, Bansal, Fidji, Am I missing something? Yeah, Vidya Mandir, that too. There are two factors that played a role in me taking admission in so many institutes. First of all, there were some private circumstances that I don't want to disclose. And second, I got all these materials and admissions for almost no cost because all these institutes have scholarship programs for various categories of students like Olympiad qualifiers and rankers, NTSC qualifiers, uh, KBPI qualifiers and rankers. And even on the basis of board marks or ranks in Olympiads, private Olympiads, they do also conduct their own scholarship and admission tests. For example, I had secured All India Rank 14 in Talentics, which had granted me a 90% scholarship on admission in Allen. Next, I secured AIR 15 in Anthea Fakas, which made my admission 100% free, not only in Akas but also in my school, Scientist School. And believe me or not, the school fees alone could have costed me 5 or 6 lakhs for 2 years. So, dear God, thank you so much. You may think that's expensive, but you will definitely change your mind after you see our school on that note i would like to mention that i have given the links of the materials and the books that i am going to discuss in this video in the description of this video at the most discounted price i could find on amazon but if you are eligible for the scholarship that i just mentioned about then do visit their official website the official website of the institute whose module you want to buy and buy it from there because they have a lot of scholarship options there okay enough of not so subtle boosting i also got all day rank 5 in resource start which granted me almost uh, the full access to all the resonance resources. I got huge help from resonance in the form of questions, modules and mock tests uh, during KVPY on Olympiad preparation. But surprisingly they didn't put my name either in the Biology Olympiad OCC qualifier list or in the KPI SA SX rank list like I had secured all India rank 158 in SA and uh, 38 in SX respectively. Like come on I have seen institutes put names of unrelated students in their achievement brochures and not putting the name of a student you have so dearly helped. It is just a bad marketing. Okay, last but definitely not the least, whenever I would have doubts of any subject in class 12th, I would go to my Allen Bhubaneswar faculties to clear them up. And that whenever used to happen almost twice a day, at least for four hours each, I don't know where I could get so many doubts. Okay, so this is how I got my hands on all these materials and I'm a book lover, so I went through all of them. The reason of me telling all this is because I want to establish that I've received some kind of aid from all these institutes. Thus, I've tried to keep all my personal judgment aside and give you an unbiased and honest opinion on the case in hand. By the way, I'm not a law student. I'm a first year medical student. Before starting, I'd also like to quickly point out that it is always advisable to go through the textbook of a chapter before jumping straight into the materials for that chapter. Depending on the exam, a textbook may not be your best guide, but it still remains your best companion. Meaning it is much more enjoyable, retainable and understandable reading it from a textbook rather than from a coaching material or for that matter hearing the same topic from a lecture. Don't get me wrong, there are some extremely talented faculties in the coaching world but for 99% of the time, a textbook is a better guide than a teacher. Moreover, it is much more reliable and dependable than the latter two and in case of any doubts, you know where to go. Now there are some books that fall into an awkward position of being a textbook but at the same time also a study material like somewhere in between and some of them may turn out to be the best of the both worlds and these books have been discussed here as well but not in this video. That said coaching modules aren't to be underestimated. They have been made by the top faculties of an institute uh, compiling the resources from 20 plus books 
and sometimes 50 plus books like the old modules of Alan and Akas before NTA had decided to slash needs level even below the boards that led to rank inflation and whatnot. But this is not the video for that. So let's begin with study materials for needs. So these are the DLPs and classroom materials of Alan. Do you notice any difference? Yeah, there is that height difference. That's because I misplaced some biology modules from the DLP and I got a good scolding, but that's not the topic of the video. Like all of these have uh, six materials in physics, six materials in chemistry and eight materials in biology. And there is absolutely no difference between the DLP and classroom materials as far as the core modules are considered. They have the exact same content in them, which is by the way not true for the JE modules of Allen. These are the quota classroom nurture programs of which is for 11th class students. And these are the enthusiast classroom modules of 12th class which was given to me in Allen Bhubaneswar. Basically, both for DLP and classroom programs, Allen has divided them into three batches. Nurture batch for class 11 students, enthusiast for 12th and leader for repeaters. But the core modules that you will end up with before the final exam are the same. But I wouldn't be stretching it for so long if there were no differences. The leader modules have some questions missing in them that are present in enthusiast and nurture modules. Because they were not high yield, being a repeater, you have to manage your time properly, so there is that. And if you're in classroom program, then you will be provided with more DPPs and assignments and nurture batch because uh, you have one extra more year. Allen's modules are famous for not just including, but elaborating on each and every line of NCRT in detail. In fact, when you are reading, it seems more like reading an extended version of NCRT itself, rather than reading a coaching module. Each and every line of NCRT has been highlighted or underlined or put in box to give the viewers an idea of what uh, exactly is from which book. Uh, one of the reasons of doing this might just be that NCRT has a lot of wrong information in it that you just have to mug up uh, for the sake of need. It doesn't matter even if it's wrong, they are going to accept it as their final answer. And what I mean by a lot of mistakes is more than 40 plus conceptual and informational mistakes that are there in NCRT, bio only. In fact, at times while reading this module, it will seem like some of the text is contradicting some other part uh, which is uh, underlined, like which is from NCRT itself. In that case, the contradictory part uh, that has been written in the module is the actual truth mostly, but the fact and the concepts mentioned in NCRT are your Veda. You have to remember them. In fact, at times even NCRT has contradicted itself. For example, the position of sulfur among structural or in mobile elements. And you know already there are a lot of examples where NCRT is wrong. But this module helps you to prove what's wrong and what's right. And at the same time tells you which answer to tick in the exam hall. Which is what a lot of other modules lack. And you also know that NCRT just talks to the point. No further explanations, no descriptions, no elaboration. Even though we are living in the times of instant information from the internet, it becomes a problem if you have learned half the concept from a book and you have to use the internet for the other half. So these coaching modules make that a lot easier. Let's take an example. Some of the concepts of NCRT have been explained through the diagrams and the concept uh, like the overlook of uh, reference books like Gaiton, Ganong, Tortora and uh, there was a concept from Taizal Jigar also. Like when I was in Kota, I have heard that there were 40 plus books that uh, were referred to by the HODs of Allen when this module was constructed. So let's see what we got here. So there are always golden key points after every section of a chapter. Then there are some uh, beginner box questions, uh, which are very important questions. Like the high yield questions have been outlined here. And as you can see, I have taken some notes here. We are taking the example of plant kingdom chapter here to see how the books are categorized. As you can see, there are very thorough categories here. As you can see, most of them have been underlined. And these are the lines from NCRT itself. While those that are not underlined but have been highlighted are the points that are not from NCRT but have been asked many times in NEET and are very important. So I have highlighted them. And yeah, NEET used to ask many questions which were not in NCRT but uh, very important for NEET which have been not asked in these two years but that does not make it less important. So you can see many things around this book because uh, these are there because we were encouraged to use every nook and cranny of this book. Coming to the questions, there are many sections in which these questions have been divided. Of course, there is the beginner box 
then there are some informative questions uh, which is especially important for these chapters of plant kingdom animal kingdom and uh, these chapters that have a lot to be remembered and there are some special points also mentioned here and there and here comes the main question part uh, these have been divided into three sections the first section is conceptual questions uh, build up your understanding these are very basic questions most of them are from ncrt itself and yeah there is always the answer key but there are no solutions to these questions uh, then the second part is the previous year questions which is very very important for uh, an exam like neat it starts from very old questions which are not that important considering today's pattern but uh, you should not overlook them these aims questions are very good to test your aptitude okay the third and the final part is analytical questions these are not all very hard questions they mainly focus on the analytical aspect of biology as you can see the first part is also ncrt based questions the first part of this third part and then there will be analytical questions uh, which are additional questions like out of ncrt out of the box questions and uh, these uh, are us sometimes in need then there used to be an assertion reason section i don't know if they are still now because aims exam has been cancelled but uh, these assertion reason questions are very good to test your concepts your clarity in concepts again these analysis based questions are not all not answerable in need if they are asked but uh, they are important to develop your analysis skills and uh, some of them are very out of the box questions as i have already told okay so these are the allen modules from 2016 and these are the ones from 2020 are there any differences let's check them out the change is so huge that these modules at the time were considered to be the most uh, difficult and the most informative modules for neat exam like next only to the true men's books uh, for neat while these modules the new ones are considered to be a replica of ncrt just a little bit better in visualizing the concepts but it is in no way comparable to the amount of information that the older modules used to give so as you can see in a first glance that the recent modules have lost a lot of details compared to their predecessors because of the constantly decreasing level of need questions additionally if you are a classroom student you will get lots of dpps like daily practice problems races quizzes assignments etc and you will never feel a dearth for practice they also do offer a very high level question set called special question bank for srg if you manage to secure a top 20 rank in three consecutive tests then they offer these materials uh, these are question banks especially made for the srg batch and there are lot of them like in every subject and uh, the physics is especially very thick as you can see it's also divided into two parts like the second part is generally tougher and this one is the aims question bank but it's not available right now so these are all the question banks and dpps and races and what not that i received from allen bhubneswar okay wait let me pick them up okay so these are all from allen kota wait a second please yeah most of them are mine some of them are from my seniors and you can also literally buy them up from the second hand book market in kota which is huge there is almost a test every week in allen kota and also in allen bhubneswar in every allen centers they do have a lot of tests and i have compiled every test and every assignment that have been given in allen kota in this one and uh, this one contains all the assignments tests uh, races quizzes and uh, what not like i have already mentioned of allen bhubneswar Additionally, we were given this book called Bio Imagica, which has uh, a lot of beautiful diagrams. Like it's a compilation of beautiful diagrams, and uh, through these diagrams, it explains all the concepts of a chapter. Like it's uh, it has been demarcated chapter wise, and uh, these diagrams are mostly from NCERT, but as you can see, many of them are also from out of NCERT. But it was a really good initiative to understand the whole chapter through just diagrams. Uh, sadly, these have been discontinued, but we are still offered these two uh, small booklets, very small booklets, very thin, and uh, these are the NCERT complete revision series. What they have done is they have basically rounded up all the important questions of a chapter of NCERT, like uh, with the wording of NCERT, 
and they have made into made it, those concepts into questions and answers so there are a lot of question and answers in every chapter not a lot like some chapters have a very few question and answers but all of them are important so it's uh, very good for last minute revision for neat i will rate the allen bio modules a 9 out of 10 had it been the older modules they could have stolen the perfect 10 but unfortunately the theory has been cut short while we are on the topic let me show you something else uh, these are the modules of another kota based institute called sarbottam it was founded when some of the faculties of allen thought of starting an institute of their own so the point i want to make is these two modules like allen's and sarbottams are exactly the same let's compare the plant kingdom again you can see this chapter and you can uh, compare it to the allen's modules that i've shown before it's exactly the same in theory in fact even the problems in these two books are very similar like you can see the question 1 is same question 2 is same question 3 is different like the sarvottam one is missing the question 3 then question 4 is the question 3 here and as you can see like question 13 is question 12 here so uh, like that there are some questions missing in sarvottam maybe because it's an older version but it's almost uh, the same even the sections are the same the point i want to make is don't buy each of these like they are the same and it's very difficult to obtain the sarvottam ones because it's uh, available only in kota like uh, for non kota students it's very difficult to access so i'm not rating these modules okay in bio there are some stuff that you need to understand like concepts and some stuff that you need to memorize like uh, information for example ncert is whole memorization and some concepts so and there are some stuff that are in between them like if you draw a venn diagram then this will be concepts this will be memorization and this will be something in between but in physics everything is concepts and when it comes to problem solving uh, which is one of the most important aspects of physics uh, when it comes to competitive exams like neat uh, then your clarity in concept is the most important part uh, in boosting your confidence in problem solving but physics as a whole has a lot of concepts that you don't need for these exams so to figure out which concepts are required for these exams these modules are necessary hence you must first learn these concepts from textbooks because they are much better in clearing and uh, in developing that clarity in concepts and then you should go for these books uh, which will give you some tips and tricks up your sleeve uh, for the exam time i have reviewed every gold standard book in physics in one of my videos in my channel so go and check that out for a plethora of good book recommendation there are two other videos for chemistry biology as well and there is one video about the study materials of class 9th and 10th so if you need guidance in them then yeah after getting a strong grip of the concept from the textbooks you have to practice a lot of questions uh, to polish your concept but where do materials come in then so as i have mentioned they will help you to focus on neat uh, on the exam you are preparing for in this case neat like they will have the concepts that are required for neat only in these books and uh, they will have questions which are asked in neat or of neat pattern neat based questions only in this book so you can be extra sure about what is required and what is not required in physics because physics is a really vast subject like every other subject in 11th and 12th but it requires a lot of effort to master every concept so if you divert that effort to the concepts that are not needed that will waste a lot of time and these extra stuff are present in almost all the textbooks uh, just for the sake of completion but uh, in instead of that you can divert that time to practice more questions which will be much more beneficial to you in the long run okay that brings us to the second utility of these modules which is questions now the theory in all modules is under the bar or at least that's what uh, seemed to me because i have read a lot of books in physics like if, if you are not getting that then you can check out my review of gold standard books video <laughs> what an awkward way to plug in but uh, however the concepts uh, like the theory may be the questions are at the exact level of neat like at par with the questions of neat uh, so which is not a good uh, like not a thing to brag about but it helps you to focus on your goal so that's the major advantage of these questions targeted practice is exceptionally essential to score well in these exams the sooner you understand it the better because many of my friends including myself had brought international recognition in olympiads kpi neat and many other competitive exams like scoring under 100 rank uh, some even scored under 400 rank in je advance while preparing for neat 
so you can see their level of preparation the effort they have put to master all these concepts but they couldn't get uh, good ranks in neat exam instead students who have not done any of these secured like top ranks like uh, top 10 ranks in neat and most of the blame goes to the lack of the targeted practice like uh, the level dropped so low that we couldn't see our target but that's another thing anyways it's not an excuse those who have targeted need specifically have done a lot better than us so these modules help in setting your focus uh, like on the target on neat itself by the way these are the classroom modules and these are the dlp but uh, again they are the same exactly the same no difference at all uh, the same holds for uh, the same holds for modules of various uh, different places like uh, of allen institute in jaipur and kota and bhubneswar like every one of them have the same module set at least the core modules let's take the example of the chapter kinematics to show what it offers so their sections are well defined like it has been categorized really well as you can see there are always golden key points after every section and uh, there are uh, these illustrations or uh, short questions most of these questions are framed uh, according to the neat format some of these are previous year questions also and they will help you to get an idea of how to solve a neat question initially uh, but as you will progress you will see that you don't need these solutions anymore like you can solve all these questions in mind i was just going to say that this is little above the level of the questions in neat 2020 but this year the 2021 questions have come a little bit better than the 2020 questions so these will be really helpful for your preparation of neat according to the recent formats okay so there are these graphical questions also it has been very well divided according to the problem solving strategy you will use okay so the first section is the conceptual questions will build up your understanding these are very easy questions like single one liner questions sometimes two or three lines solution which you will most probably carry on in with your mind uh, at a later stage of concept solving problem solving and then the next section is the previous year questions here it comes the previous year aipmt neat and aims questions now these aims questions are really beneficial for uh, like considering the format of this year's neat because assumption reason questions have also come so it will be essential the pattern of physics need questions were almost unchanged except for in 2020 when the level fell just drastically but other than that it's almost similar now these are the analytical questions to test your concepts that's how it is named also check your understanding like these are not that hard like not at the j main level or j advanced level and then there used to be an assertion reason section i don't know whether it is present now or not but these are really concept clearing sections just to be more clear there are six modules that you will get with this material whether it be dlp or the classroom one and you will get an handbook extra with both of them yeah it's very good to revise all the formulas and equations before the exam though it shouldn't help you with the concepts but it's really helpful in exams like neat where formulas and equations can be used to solve a lot of the questions most of them this is the most important difference between dlp and classroom program materials you will get a lot of races quizzes assignments tests and uh, etc like a lot of them uh, with the classroom program like this is just one of them there are a lot and you also get a booklet called crop concise revision of physics it has basically questions and in these questions it has covered the whole chapter like there are some solved questions and uh, these questions represent all the concepts in the chapter and then there will be uh, some unsolved questions that you have to solve and there will be the answer keys obviously okay after all this long discussion we have figured out that islands modules do an especially good job in setting the focus so i would rate it 8 out of 10 uh, which is a very good score by the way uh, considering that uh, its theory is not at all up to the mark but yeah the questions and the purpose of this module is well served okay this is my personal favorite section from allen modules chemistry because they ace it in any of them be it physical organic or inorganic they are not only very easy to read and understand but they include the whole need syllabus they are all inclusive of the need syllabus that is you don't need to do anything apart from ncrt and these modules to ace the need exam it is especially true for inorganic chemistry i have seen my friends getting into aims daily without uh, doing anything for inorganic chemistry except ncrt and these modules for organic it can still uh, take you to the 1000 rank range in need uh, with only these two modules like the modules and the ncrt with these two books 
and if you want to score more you have to practice a lot of extra questions and maybe uh, strengthen your theory a bit though most of the theory work has been done here and uh, the rest is in ncrt obviously which is the most important book by the way be it inorganic or organic okay for a better rank you need to practice a lot of questions to get the hold of these concepts and you can get a good recommendation of these books from my chemistry book review video uh, in my channel but if you want to get a high level of confidence in organic chemistry you should go for a textbook in the beginning of your journey in organic chemistry other than ncrt obviously because ncrt is very concise like it doesn't explain the concepts in detail so to understand these concepts and to take it to the further level uh, you need a textbook at the beginning of your journey uh, which is uh, a beginner's textbook don't go for an advanced textbook like my recommendation would be paula brew surkanis for organic chemistry but i've discussed about a lot of these books in the video that i've just mentioned that video should be in description also so check that out okay, talking about physical chemistry it's a bit tricky it's a subject where concepts hold the utmost importance just like physics so keep every book or modules aside as secondary goal and focus on building your concepts okay grab a textbook while beginning but not ncrt like it doesn't do justice to the subject at all like the questions are all right but the theory is just duh after the textbook go for these modules for theory and skim through them you would have already figured out the basic concepts from the textbooks but there are a lot of tips and tricks that you need to learn for neat and there are a lot of things that you need to remember for neat uh, which are not there in uh, the textbooks but they are frequently asked in neat and they are all present in these books like the conceptual and the non conceptual part as well then go on a journey of practicing as many questions as possible in organic chemistry from the chapter until you can confront any question from the chapter like you have developed that ability it may seem time consuming at first but uh, with time the your speed of problem solving and the feel of the subject itself will keep increasing now let's see what these modules have to offer let's go for ioc first so let's take the example of the periodic table chapter to see what it has to offer in the inorganic chemistry part so the important formulas have been boxed off or underlined or highlighted and some of the really important examples are always mentioned in this there are a lot of tips and tricks for example here in electronegativity these tips and tricks are there and these are the commonly asked questions in neat all of them have been highlighted not just in neat but any competitive exam and just now remember you will get to know how these are derived if you read a little bit further into the inorganic chemistry i don't think these modules will help you clarify uh, it to that level like you mostly have to remember these uh, trends but you can understand them if you follow a book like jdd or something and as you can see again really important formulas have been boxed off this so was the problem section uh, again there is a build up of your understanding basically in inorganic this is what you all need just build up your understanding and the rest of it is just a cake one most of these questions are also ncrt based which is a really good thing okay, so these are the previous year questions again like biology the very old ones may have some odd questions but don't get depressed if you're not able to solve them so see if you can solve the really recent ones like after 2016 or 17 afterwards now this is the analytical section these type of questions are not asked in need at least now but these are really good questions to improve your concepts like you can't get past them by just guesswork Okay, so yeah, that's about it. This text is not based on NCERT, unlike Allen's JE inorganic modules. So it is like an addition to your pile of knowledge. But in case of any discrepancies, you know where to go. The questions section in conceptual chapters like periodic table, chemical bonding, etc., is great. Even the beginner box questions are really good. But in memory based chapters like metallurgy, it doesn't quite uh, reach that level. And the previous year questions are a lifesaver as always. By the way, the early need and aims question might appear a bit tricky and some of them might be out of syllabus, but no need to worry because these are not asked nowadays. It's better if you can go for a book like JD Lee for improving, further improving your concepts in inorganic chemistry, but it's not a high yield strategy for need. Physical chemistry theory part, I think I have discussed enough. Uh, you can see the questions for yourself. They are pretty decent comparing the NEET standards even the solved questions are and the question section is based on the NEET pattern like exactly on the NEET pattern much more targeted than any other modules in uh, physical chemistry. The theory part of organic chemistry modules is ridiculously loaded especially noting that NEET organic chemistry isn't that hard like if you have seen the organic chemistry of uh, JE advanced level you know what I am talking about.
every important reaction and mechanism has been mentioned uh, though not close to the detail in which iit books have them uh, but it's more than enough for uh, neat or even for that matter in je mains level there are some discrepancies to the answer of the questions of aims exams because they didn't uh, used to provide the questions and the solutions so it's mainly based on the memory of the students in chemistry 2 you get six modules just like in physics in both the dlp and the classroom programs these three include all the sub subjects of chemistry also like the physical chemistry inorganic organic everything and also numerical chemistry and some chapters can't be just distinguished uh, whether they are of ioc or physical like, like atomic structure but you get all of these so this is the handbook and it has all the formulas and equations and things to remember this will help a lot during the last moment revision okay for everything they deliver targeting the neat exam they deserve to get a solid 9 out of 10 Online test series have been a life saver in these dire times for students who are searching for some mock tests to put the last nail in the coffin of their preparation. As far as Allen's online test series OLTS is concerned, I can safely say that they are the set with the most realistic questions. There is the pattern and the level of questions exactly match the part pattern of uh, the expected pattern of NEET. Like the pattern is never known, and that has been the case for at least the last two or three years since they have been launched. Now let's bring our attention to the offline full syllabus mock tests offered in classroom programs. They are not that much different from the part syllabus test series uh, offered in classroom programs in their downsides and their benefits as well. Now these are generally set at a higher level than the NEET, uh, which is good. Like if you have mastered time management skills in these exams, then you have mastered a higher level of skill than that is required for. Uh, for neat exam like the original exam and you are ready for any unpredictability in the question paper uh, set in this year now here comes the downside most of these seemingly difficult questions are actually taken from their modules like their classroom or dlp modules all are the same they are taken from these modules so someone who has read these modules like it is ncrt or something will definitely secure more uh, marks and uh, more rank in these tests does that mean you should read these modules before giving tests every time you give these tests like is it compulsory then the answer is no that would not only be a waste of time since neat considers ncrt as their uh, syllabus making machine not allen modules it will also not be a fair assessment of your skills so every time you give these exams don't care about the rank and uh, what your friend has secured so always compete with yourself and the marks that you have secured in the previous test like you need to give a lot of time on the analysis of every test after the test is over give the classroom test as an assessment of your knowledge and skills and develop your time management skill in these tests and uh, basically whenever you give this test the competition should be with yourself and classroom students are also encouraged to appear for the online olts like online test series to assess your level in a close to the real exam based setting or else they conduct offline tests in similar format in their centers for classroom students i would rate both the online and offline mock tests of allen a solid 9.5 out of 10 individually Allen and Akas modules are very similar based on the overall content they deliver in biology like after you are done with any of these you will be left with the same amount of knowledge because they both elaborate on the same book that is NCERT but if i go neat picking i see two major differences okay neat picking and major differences another oxymoron maybe i should stop listening rap music after this Okay to put it simply the Akash biology modules have no special respect for NCERT if NCERT does something wrong these modules won't encourage it and you will be able to see lots of discrepancies between NCERT and these modules and even more dangerous fact is that some of them are very hard to notice but are very important concepts like they have been asked in neat before and neat big neat if you mention the correct answer you will lose marks i really respect what they have done and i think if i would have made a module myself i would have done that too but it's not good for marks especially if you aren't conscious while reading them basically if you are taking the help of akash modules to expand your knowledge of ncrt 
then keep in mind that it is ncrt on which you are expanding your knowledge not vice versa uh, that is these modules are just an addition to ncrt also it doesn't cover all the lines of ncrt like more or less all the concepts have been covered but they are not in the language frame in which ncrt depicts them to be this gives alan a little edge over akash modules because it has exactly the same language of ncrt and it just elaborates on it like it underlines the lines from ncrt and uh, like it gives a thorough importance to ncrt lines uh, but uh, these modules are a book of their own but wait the review isn't over yet there are some aspects in which akas modules greatly overshadow allens one of them is its textbook method of representation of concepts rather than allens uh, very highly organized notebook method of concepts like it uh, feels like you are reading some uh, good quality notes when you are reading the allen modules while while you are reading the akas modules it feels like you are reading another textbook of a high quality while the point wise note like representation of allen modules and the highlighting of ncrt concepts does have some advantages of its own over akas modules it comes nowhere near the feel you get after reading a textbook the satisfaction you get after reading a textbook even though this is not a textbook like as i mentioned these modules are a combination of a lot of concepts from various high quality textbooks like various uh, specific textbooks and uh, most of these concepts have some relation to the concepts that are mentioned in ncrt and i have used the word concept a lot of times in this video i think so i would refrain to use it from now also in case of any discrepancies my order of reference would be ncrt then a trusted internet website uh, then akas and then allen modules so i should also mention that this is true if the doubt is for neat only like if there is a conceptual doubt i will definitely go for specialized books like leninger russell thais jigar brooks whatever also in chapters like animal kingdom or plant kingdom those chapters that have a lot of information Akas is unmatchable to other coaching institute modules. In fact, here I would like to mention that if Allen has removed some content from its predecessors, Akas has removed a lot. Okay, we are taking the example of the Plant Kingdom chapter again. As you can see, you can't figure out which line is from NCRT and which is not because none of those lines have been underlined. Though there are some lines that are exactly in the NCRT language like this one. These have not been marked well off, so you will feel like reading another book. But trust me, almost every concept of NCERT has been covered uh, with an additional emphasis on the on the knowledge that is required for NEET. A lot of extra stuff too, and uh, a lot of these have been removed uh, to the last section. Like there is an extra section uh, in the newer modules. This is an old one, that's why it's here. but uh, a lot of these like these ones are uh, removed to the last uh, section you will just get what is there in ncrt and uh, the need of me so these have been removed to the last section life cycle of moss and extra stuff and did you know i think did you know is still there but uh, these are not also important for the current pattern of need uh, that's why they have been moved two assignment sets but practically there is just one the first one is assigned for the board exams and uh, these are pretty standard questions for board exams and the second assignment is for neat because aims is not there and other competitive exams are not uh, there for medical entrance the section a contains fairly good questions which is divided into sub sections uh, so you can solve them along with reading the theory part of that sub section after that you will get section b which is on the tougher side than section a and it's also divided into sub sections uh, so you can solve them accordingly and the section c is the previous year questions okay on the end of section c you will find uh, the questions asked prior to medical entrance exams 2005 these are there just for your reference but these kind of questions don't come nowadays uh, but some of them are uh, still relevant and the section d is for assessor reason type questions since in case of akash biology modules there are some pros and cons if we compare it to the allens modules i would rate it exactly the same as allens that is 9 out of 10 again had it been its predecessor they could have taken away the perfect score uh, coming to the physics part akash doesn't disappoint it's very easy to understand and it's written in a textbook format so it's good for those who have had a problematic history with physics or who find physics difficult at the same time it doesn't deliver more than what is required that is everything required for neat syllabus has been covered but not anything more than that even the questions are pretty decent close to what is asked in neat the only downside of all this 
is that it makes it redundant for someone who has a good knowledge of physics before reading these books and i can understand why like you can't make a book that every beginner can understand but at the same time a pro can also enjoy like that's very hard to accomplish and akash physics modules do a very good job at the earlier okay that's a lot of philosophical talk let's rate it according to me it's a better material series for beginners in physics than allen's but it doesn't delve much into the analytical and problem solving part of physics which is one of the most important aspect in exams in any competitive exam because it's required to increase speed and accuracy so it's a plus or minus 8 out of 10 for me uh, this was a disappointment don't get me wrong all of these institutes have put their all to make these modules as much as beneficial as they could be for the exam that they are made for what we are doing now is just nitpicking and comparing two very similar material packages okay, allens and akas chemistry modules why the similarity because they are both made for the same exam after analyzing its pattern and format that said akas chemistry modules did disappoint me it seems more like a self study book rather than a coaching institute material because it has a very slow pace many important concepts have been skipped altogether because of their low yield which is fair but they are taught in classroom program so keep that in mind also there is a very low focus on the analytical and problem solving aspect of uh, physical chemistry rather the focus is on equations and formulas that you should cram to answer the questions now trust me that's not how physical chemistry or physics works and i think i have explained it more than one time in this video itself there are pretty good practice problems also but there are not many of them and i have this complaint with uh, allen modules also that it doesn't have many quality problems in fact it gets repetitive soon after you have mastered the concepts organic chemistry is okay so like the theory may be lacking but the questions are fire inorganic is good it's a bit slow but at least it doesn't miss anything i'm going to rate this 8.5 out of 10 it's 0.5 less than what i've rated allen modules but keep in mind that it's just these modules that we are rating not the faculties not the classroom programs on that note let me clarify that again in this case the dlp and classroom modules are exactly the same so what else do you get with these materials uh, you get a book with diagrams uh, from ncert and other books uh, covering each concept of each chapter for complete uh, revision there is one for botany and similarly there is one for zoology if you are a classroom student at akash depending on your batch you may also get these two books very thick books they are Uh, these are the last leap for neat and these have a really tough questions in them like very tough questions like the biology section is almost every question is out of the box question and these are not at all required for today's neat pattern uh, but uh, it's a really good book for your concept revision but only the topmost students of the institute are able to get their hands on these materials but it's not recommended at all for today's pattern fleet the physics part on the other hand is really awesome it will be really helpful if you are looking for some questions to increase your clarity of the concepts in physics like you can't solve them if you are not 100% clear in your concepts i did also get the akash explorers but these are a thing of the past now a test series okay test series well akash is famous for their all india akash test series or aits after all famous in the sense that they are mostly a level up than the actual neat pattern okay mostly see the part tests are purposely made a little tougher to increase the motivation level of students to work hard and it is true that the level of questions in aits is a level up than the level of questions in allen classroom program students in a normal batch which is itself a level up than the actual neat questions okay talking about that mostly thing they purposely lower the level of questions in the final tests uh, final some of the final tests uh, so that you can get a view of what the actual test is going to look like uh, just like allens i would rate akash test series 9.5 out of 10 just like allens because i couldn't find a reason to rate the test series lower just because they are giving some higher level of questions well the worth of those questions is questionable but there is no harm in attending them the part tests are there for your assessment and to set your target for prep it's the full syllabus tests that will help you to set your pace of answering questions which is one of the most important things that you need to learn before the exam your whole preparation remains incomplete unless you master time management and pace setting 
and both akash and alien stage series do a good job in helping you to set those two. so that completes our review of two of the most sought after gold standard materials of neat but as promised let's uh, talk a little bit about the third one i will not take much of the time because uh, a lot of time has already passed okay. the theory of resonance modules has been made keeping its competitors that is akash and allen modules in mind not ncrt it is not as bad as it sounds out of these three allen is closest to ncrt akash is not as close but tries to maintain its reputation as a textbook standalone uh, module uh, whatever that is while resonance finds itself in an awkward middle child situation where it is neither near to the ncrt or nor a textbook on its own it's also made on a closer format to allen like when you read it it feels like you are reading someone's notes but at the same time they have put forward some of their own points uh, referencing from mainly the undergraduate textbooks of various subjects like botany zoology and molecular biology genetics something like that even though i shouldn't say that they have completely ignored ncrt like the points from ncrt are very well highlighted but the extra stuff creates confusion among students about what actually matters and what doesn't and just when you think everything is going south for iso modules their question set comes forward and damn i have never seen such a huge diversity of questions in a question set for neat like they have literally included previous year olympiad questions in their question set of for neat showing would be more uh, trustworthy so so this is the theory part let's skim over this uh, there is not much to show like there are lot of unnecessary theory as you can see uh, but uh, some of them are good though it's not the best uh, textbook for these extra stuff just like any other question bank it starts with exercise 1 where very basic concepts are tested and it's divided into sections of uh, chapters like sub topics in every chapter you can see there are so many questions i don't think any module has uh, as many questions as resonance uh, bio modules in biology of course for neat comes the exercise 2 these are olympiad questions so they are uh, level up from ncrt level but they are good for your analytical problem solving and then you have assess and reason questions these are not just for aims but they help you to develop your concepts and these are assess and reason previous year questions of aims they help to develop your concepts a lot and these are uh, present in nowadays module also they have not been removed just end with neat previous year questions there are aims previous year questions just like any other module and the previous year questions start from 2005 itself so they are really old questions and the old questions are not present in allen's module though they are given in akash module like the questions earlier to 2012 and 13 are not there in the allen's module because the pattern has changed considerably in these years and then there are some self practice paper now here the concepts are jumbled up i mean all questions are from the same chapter but they are not uh, divided into sub topics for a good assessment and there are 45 questions i have rated 9 out of 10 could have deducted 1 point for the unnecessary text but the question sets really makes up for it like it deserves a grace point uh, well i won't talk much about the physics and chemistry modules they are almost at the same playground as the allen's and akash which makes me think why they are not so famous why reason neat modules are not so famous and uh, maybe a part of the reason may be because of the lackluster marketing uh, which i have already mentioned in my intro I would rate the physics eight and the chemistry nine out of ten. I'm not going into the details because the video has already gotten too long. And you may ask in the comments if you are curious. I mean, we are preparing now for our second internal exam, but I would try to find some time to answer. I have tried my best to attach the direct Amazon links to the books and test series and modules that I mentioned in this video. but sadly not all of them like most of them are not in these uh, in the amazon website so you have to go to their official website to buy these the website links are also in description so we have completed our review and comparison of neat modules in detail now it's your job to give the verdict if you ask for my opinion i would choose to read the theory from either allen or akash modules and i would also like to try their questions uh, like both of them and then i would go for the reso modules for questions but it's your own choice like you can choose one of them and be fine with it like it's okay or you may try to read the theory and the solve the questions of all of them which i don't recommend like theory from all of them is not needed basically ncrt is your textbook and you have to just elaborate your knowledge and clarify your concepts of ncrt through these books 
so you have to choose just one for theory like that would be enough you may go for two for a better clarity but yeah that's upon you so please comment your opinion down below one more thing that should always be kept in mind whether it be textbooks or modules they are like paint brushes for a painter like the quality of the painting depends on the skill dedication and hard work of the painter himself not on the paint brush uh, with that let's end this video if you like the video give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so that you would be notified whenever i post a video